Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest dev and beta channel inside of preview builds with the update KB5067109. And once again, the two builds are basically mirror images of one another. So a quick overview as to what's new in the dev and the beta channel. Now, first of all, Microsoft says it's introducing copy and search, which it says is a feature that allows you to search the text in your clipboard with a single click. So when you copy text anywhere in Windows, a paste gleam will now appear in the search box. Microsoft says you then can click on this gleam and your copied text will appear in the search field, allowing you to search instantly to get started. And I think that could actually be quite a handy feature. So that's copy and search now available in the dev and beta channels. And then moving on to the next, Microsoft says it's introducing a new wait time before acting setting in voice typing, which allows users to configure the delay before a voice command is executed. This provides, Microsoft says, greater flexibility for users with varying speech patterns enabling more accurate recognition, whether speaking slowly or quickly. So new wait time before acting for voice typing. And then next up, we have a new feature, which Microsoft says helps improve system reliability. So if your PC, Microsoft says, experiences a bug check, unexpected restart, which could also be termed as a stop error or blue screen of death, you may see a notification when signing in suggesting a quick memory scan. Microsoft says if you choose to run it, the system will schedule a Windows memory diagnostic scan to run during the next reboot, which Microsoft says taking five minutes or less on average and then continue to Windows. It's also mentioned that if a memory issue is found and mitigated, you will see a notification post reboot. Just take note though that Microsoft says that this feature is not supported on ARM64 devices, systems with administrator protection, or BitLocker without secure boot. So just take note of those. And then Microsoft also says that if we just head into our settings, system about, Microsoft says that the device cards have been updated to provide more clarity on information about your device for better readability and streamlined navigation for improved user experience, says Microsoft. And for the next change in improvement, Microsoft says you can now scroll through all search results directly in the flyout without needing to open a separate results page. That's a little user interface tweak and adjustment. And here's an interesting one. Microsoft mentions that Windows Insiders with the larger start menu fly out. That's the new start menu we've been talking about on the channel. Well, now notice that the Windows search fly out now matches in size. Now, currently in this table, we can see that the start menu and the search are two different sizes. Now that's going to change where the start menu and the search are going to be exactly the same size. And the reason for this, Microsoft says that it aims to create a smoother transition when searching. The feature relies on the updated start menu rolled out to Windows Insiders earlier this year. And that's also making its way in our next optional update to the stable version as I posted on uh, last week with um, Windows 11 25H2 and 24H2. I'll leave the video for that linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like further information. And Microsoft also says that it's restarting the rollout of the new animations on the taskbar. And it says, appreciate your patience. Now, this is something obviously they've been working on, had a couple of glitches, pulled it, and now it's making its way back into the dev and the beta channel builds for last week. And then just to mention the next one, it's for Copilot Plus PCs. Windows Studio FX now offers support on additional alternative cameras as part of a gradual rollout to Windows Insiders on Snapdragon powered and AMD Copilot Plus PCs, previously only available to Intel powered Copilot Plus PCs. And then 
And then over and above those new features and changes and improvements, we've also got a couple of fixes rolling out and a handful of known issues. So guys, that's more or less what's new for the Dev and the Beta channel builds for last week with KB5067109. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.